the 2018 Lincoln Continental Reserve. Hi, I'm Tim Barks, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Lincoln in Salina, Kansas. In this video, we are going to cover the standard as well as optional equipment that is available, including those different packages and standalone options on that reserve trim of the 2018 Lincoln Continental. This is going to be a very thorough video, a very long video. Uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, I do encourage you to look at the description down below. I have timestamps for each part of the, uh, the video, so you can always uh, move ahead throughout the video if you like to. And I'm going to have the prices for all the different packages and standalone options in the description too. So. Uh, please reference that. Also, don't forget, this is going to be a very thorough video, so if you want to come back and watch it a little bit later, hit that watch later uh, there on YouTube. That way, it'll go ahead and save that to your watch later videos and your different playlists. You can, uh, don't forget to add those to your favorites. So especially as you're doing your research for the Continental, this is probably a video you want to reference uh, later down the road. Now let's start here by talking about safety. Uh, now this is a very safe vehicle and of course all the same safety features that you saw on the, the Premier as well as the Select. So if you've watched those videos you can go ahead and go on forward to the front uh, video or that front timestamp down there if you'd like to. So let's uh, cover that. It's going to have that personal safety system that's going to really protect those occupants in the front seats here. So it's going to have a dual stage front airbag that's going to deploy a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. And it's going to know that because there's a sensor underneath the seat that's going to dictate how close you are to that steering wheel to deploy the right size airbag for you. Also, you're going to have knee airbags underneath the, for the dash, uh, so that way it protects those, uh, your legs on that front collision there. And you're going to have side impact airbags as well that's going to deploy those airbags on the side from those side impacts when that occurs as well. So really to protect uh, those on the front seat up there. Also, you're going to have safety canopy airbags that can protect not only those in the front, but those in the back as well and those outside by the doors to protect them from any kind of rollover or side collision as well, especially from that glass breaking and so that doesn't come into your face there. Also, it's going to have, the for the rear seats back there, a couple different other safety precautions. And one of those is going to be the child safety locks. So you can lock those rear doors back there so those kids that are on the inside can't open those doors from the inside. And then you have that latch system that lower anchors and tethers for children. And that's going to help you keep those car seats securely down into those rear seats, protecting them from those front and side collisions. Now, if you do get in a uh, collision, there are a couple of other safety precautions that are going to help you out. And one of those is going to be the SOS post crash alert system. Uh, that means if you're off the road in an accident, it's going to honk the horns, it's going to flash the lights and let people know uh, that's where you're at. So, uh, until you, uh, if, especially if you're unconscious. And then you have 911 assist as well. 911 assist goes along with your Microsoft Sync technology, you Bluetooth your phone in there, and then you can call 911 directly uh, using that system there too. So that comes in uh, real handy if you're in, in that any kind of accident that way too. So uh, again, some great safety precautions that are really going to protect everyone in the vehicle uh, and I think you'll really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and move to the front now and talk about some of the design. Now on the reserve model, you can get this in either the front wheel drive or you can get in the optional all wheel drive system. Uh, so either one of those can be really good for you. Now it is going to come standard with your 2.7 liter V6 turbocharged engine. Now that engine is going to deliver 335 horsepower. 380 foot pound of torque, so plenty of power behind that engine there. And that engine you're going to, is going to be available in either the front wheel drive or the all wheel drive. If you do get the front wheel drive for fuel economy, you can expect about 18 miles per gallon in the city, about 27 miles per gallon on the highway. And for the all wheel drive for that engine, you're going to expect about 17 in the city and about 25 miles per gallon on the highway. Now, if you do get the optional 3.0 liter, a V6 turbocharged engine. You do have to have that in all wheel drive. And that's the only way you can get that engine because it has so much power. It's going to also include that torque vectoring control. And because it does put so much power behind it, uh, you're going to need that torque vectoring to keep you on your intended path there. Uh, and this, this engine is going to deliver 400 horsepower, 400 foot pound of torque. So lots of power behind it. Now, if you know anything about the uh, turbocharged engines uh, and the Ford and Lincoln vehicles, plenty of power behind it. A lot of people are asking for a V8 uh, in this luxury sedan like the Cadillac has. Trust me, drive the 3.0, uh, you're going to have plenty of power. 400, uh, 400 horsepower, 400 foot-pound of torque, it's a lot of power. For fuel economy, it's going to get about 16 miles per gallon in the city and about 24 miles per gallon on the highway. So there's your options there for different engines and drivetrain possibilities. Also, they're all going to come standard with a six-speed automatic transmission with select shift. And select shift means that you're going to have those paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. If you have it in that mode, you can drive it more like a manual transmission. Uh, so that's going to be a fun way to be able to drive your vehicle as well, using those paddle shifters, the plus and minus behind there. Uh, so okay, also, uh, let's talk about one other thing when we talk about the design on the front, and that is the active grille shutters. 
the active grill shutters are going to be like shutters like in your house. So they're going to open up, allow for a lot of airflow in to kind of keep that engine cooled down, uh, performing well uh, in town especially, and it's going to close it when you get up to higher speeds uh, to give you a little more aerodynamic on the highway. Also, uh, I lied, I'm going to talk about one other thing, the Lincoln Drive Control. Lincoln Drive Control is a very important component on this vehicle. It's going to be available in either the front-wheel drive or the all-wheel drive. Uh, and this is going to be your adaptive suspension that's going to come with this. And so you have the different modes for your handling as well as your, uh, your dr just your drive in general on how this is going to drive. You have a comfort mode, you also have a sport mode, a performance mode there. And you can uh, really change that within the settings uh, there on your screen for how you want the, the vehicle to really perform and drive. Also it's going to come with EPAS, an electronic power assist steering. And what's great about that is when you're in those parking lots and those driveways, it's going to be a little bit easier to steer that steering wheel, or turn the steering wheel, I should say. But when you get on the highway, it's going to stiffen it up so that way that wind won't push you around from side to side. And then it's going to come with your active noise control. So make it a lot quieter in the vehicle as well with some active, some dampening throughout the cabin to really make it quiet in there so you can actually have a conversation with those even in the back seat. So I think you'll appreciate all those. Now look at the design on the front. It does have a, the chrome mesh grille up here with a chrome surround that goes around that. So real, real nice look with the Lincoln emblem right there in the middle. Also going to have chrome accent on the lower part of the bumpers down here. So it just looks real sharp down there too. You have a automatic HID adaptive headlights and HID is going to be so much brighter for you and the adaptive means it is going to turn where you turn. So if you're going into that park driveway or, or something, it's going to go ahead and turn as you're turning so you can uh, pretty much light up your intended path there. And is, you're going to see LED signature lighting underneath there. Double such your daytime running light. You're also going to see the LED lights down here as well. Uh, right above the high gloss finish down there, that black high gloss finish. So it's going to look real sharp. Uh, you can have that on as you're coming, going down during the daytime. People see you approaching them and it's just a nice luxury look. But also you're going to use those LED lights uh, as part of the Lincoln Embrace, which is uh, your Lincoln experience for you. So uh, you have that key fob in your pocket and you just approach the vehicle. It uses a series of LED lights to really welcome you and invite you into the vehicle. And the first one you're going to see is the fade up underneath that headlight as you approach the vehicle from the front. And then your door handles are all going to have LED lighting in them so you can be able to see those easily at night. Uh, if you approach the vehicle from behind, you're going to see the LED tail lights light up on the back of the trunk there. And then on the, both sides of the vehicle, you're going you're to have this nice uh, welcome mat, is what we like to call it, with the Lincoln symbol in the middle. So it's just a great way to just uh, welcome you to the vehicle and invite you in. Now, as we move around to the side, the standard wheel is going to be a 19 inch polished aluminum wheel. Uh, but it's going to have different color painted pockets, depends on if you have the 2.7 liter turbocharged engine, which is going to come with your ebony painted pockets. Or if you go with that 3.0 liter turbocharged engine, you're going to have that dark tarnished painted pocket. So different, uh, two different color looks to it and designs depends on which uh, vehicle or which engine you have on the vehicle. Here on the side, you're going to see the Continental nameplate over here. And this is something that Continental started uh, for the Lincoln lineup. And now all of them are rolling out with the nameplate here on the side, uh, which is uh, really nice as well for you. And then for the mirrors, you do have a body colored mirror cap. Uh, turn or the this set on this nice chrome accent with the turn signal indicator on the outside here. This also have the auto dimming driver side view mirror, which comes in real handy. And the, what that is is that if there's someone passing with those bright lights, it's going to automatically dim that mirror so that way it doesn't blind you as you're driving down the road. Does have your power heated glass as well here on the mirror. And it comes with the Bliss system with cross traffic alert. And I love this system. It is uh, part of the Select Plus package on the Select, but it is going to be standard equipment on your reserve. And uh, the way that works is if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of the mirror on that side and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, as you're backing up, it, with the cross, and someone's coming behind you, cross traffic, it's going to go ahead and put a light in the mirror on the side they're coming from. Put the message on the dash telling if they're coming from the left or the right in a series of tones that it's not safe to back up. So I love the Bliss and Cross Tracker. If you watch any of my videos, I think it's, it's one of the, uh, probably the features that I use the most that I feel like are safety features on my Lincoln vehicle. So I think you'll really appreciate it as well. Now this does have your intelligent access that goes along with the Lincoln welcome sequence. That just allows you to be able to leave that key fob in your pocket, purse, uh, and be able to unlock and lock your vehicle without having to get the keys out of your pocket. So the way that works is this nice ELAT system that, Link, that Continental has. So when you walk up, there's a little uh, uh, gray knob inside the door latch. You just press it, it's gonna, I'm gonna unlock the vehicle, and it's gonna go ahead and pop it open. So uh, that's uh, really nice and how that works, uh, just real quickly like that for you. 
So great system. Now this does have your auto fold mirrors. As you can see, it's folded in. When you lock the vehicle up, it's going to fold those in. And then when you get in and you shut the door, uh, then it's going to go ahead and fold those out into place. And uh, I forgot to mention, this does have the auto closure as well with this door. So if you don't get it all the way closed, it's going to go ahead and grab that and it's going to pull it in uh, towards it and lock it into place. So that's uh, going to be really nice as well. Now this does have keypad on the pillar. That allows you if you want to, you don't have the keys on you or you want to leave the keys inside, set your special code and you can be able to unlock, uh, lock and unlock the vehicle using the keypad here on the side. And then when you lock it, a lot of the other vehicles will have these uh, uh, ridges on the doors and the Continental does not have that, but it has a little lock down here on that invisible keypad and you would just press and hold that lock and it's going to go ahead and lock it and then it's going to go ahead and fold those uh, mirrors into place. Uh, so that, that's how you're going to do that. Also, uh, a lot of people are concerned about the e-latch system and how that works and the electronic e-latch and whether or not they can get in and out of their vehicle if the vehicle happens to be dead, like a dead battery or something. Well, not a problem. You do have this nice key fob in here uh, where you can lock, unlock, it even has remote start on it, so you can remote start that from the comfort of your home, but it also does have the key in there. So you just press the button on the back, you pull the key out. With that key, you just uh, there's a square right here on the Continental nameplate. You press in there, and it's going to pop that door open and allow you to get access to the vehicle. And then from the inside, there is a red uh, latch. You just pull that, and that's going to open the door as well uh, from the inside because of the e-latch system that we, button there is on the inside as well. So uh, don't worry about that. You have a way to get into the vehicle, and then you can always jump the vehicle if it happens to be dead. So uh, e-latch system is great, uh, but they do have fail safe uh, that's going to work on your vehicle as well. Uh, now let's talk about some of the chrome accents to kind of finish off the side here. You're going to see the chrome accent around the windows. The, the broader or the wider a chrome accent that incorporates the door handles there on the belt line. And then you have your chrome accent and a lower rocker molding. So again, a lot of luxury features here on the side as well as some great nice chrome accents that give you that luxury finish and look as well. Now moving to the back, you're going to see your rear defrost back here. Also on this trunk lid, you're going to see the, the Lincoln chrome lettering with a chrome accent that's incorporated right into those LED tail lights. So just a great look to the back of the vehicle, nice luxury look on the vehicle. You are going to get your rear view camera, and this does have your reverse sensing. And I forgot to mention earlier, it does have your front sensing as well up there. So that's going to be standard equipment on all of your Continentals. So whether you're pulling in or you're backing up, if you're getting closer and closer to anything, it's going to alert you with the series of tones uh, that you're getting closer. And then the rear view camera is going to come in handy. You're going to be able to see behind you as you're backing up. A nice chrome accent that's incorporated into the upper part of that with those reflectors uh, on those bumpers. And that's if you're pulled over maybe and, and such and don't have your tail lights on. Uh, those reflectors will be able to be visible there. And then the lower part of that bumper is going to be uh, body colored as well as it does have, you notice, a nice uh, chrome tip exhaust that's incorporated right into the lower part of that bumper. Now this does have your power trunk release and you can either uh, press the button between the C and the O over here or you can use your remote or you can use your foot. It does have the foot, hand, the foot activated or hands free trunk release as well. So just give it a kick in the middle and it's going to go ahead and open it up for you. Make sure you back up and then it'll go ahead and give it some time. It'll open up just like it did for us. And then it powers it all the way up. It's not just a release, but also a power trunk, trunk lid here. Inside, you can see a very spacious trunk in there, as you'd expect with a luxury sedan like this. Lots of room for that luggage uh, for up to five people pretty easily in there. Uh, so I think you'll like that. Also, you're going to see the, the chrome accents on those loops in there, as well as your latch to be able to get into your spare tire. That nice little luxury uh, finish there on the inside. You do have a netting on both sides, uh, on the left and the right, and that just contains those smaller items in there so they won't roll around in the back of your cargo area. And then also the seats, a 60-40 split bench seat. If you want to lay the seat down, get a little extra cargo room, uh, you can do that. Also, uh, for those long trips, if uh, there's an armrest that comes out of the middle backrest for that rear seat, put that down and you can get access to the rear trunk. So if you need to grab something out of there without having to pull over, uh, you're able to do that uh, for those that are in the rear seat back there. So uh, real nice uh, features here in the back of the trunk. And then to shut it, you can either use your foot again, uh, the same thing we just did, or you can hit the button right back here and it's going to go ahead and power it down. And it's going to also do the soft closure where it's going to grab it and it's going to pull it down just like it did on the front doors. Now moving to the interior, first let's talk about the interior colors you get. When you go from the select to the reserve, you go from two options to four options uh, for your interior. So your, the first one I'll talk about is the ebony interior. Like you're seeing with this vehicle, it's going to be all black on the dash, the lower part of those, uh, the, uh, the console, as well as your seats, the armrests, are going to be the ebony interior. You're also going to see the brown swirl walnut appliques, a high gloss applique on the doors, 
on your instrument panel, across the dash, and on your steering wheel. So uh, that's going to be your ebony environment. You can also get a ebony with terracotta interior as well. So you're going to have the same on your dash and such, but your seats are going to be that dark brown terracotta finish to them. And it's going to have the same appliques as the ebony environment does. You can also go with your cappuccino. So if you're a person that wants that tan interior, this is the one you're going to want. So you're going to have that espresso finish across your dash, so that dark brown with the light tan below that. Dark brown armrest and console cover, and you're going to have your cappuccino leather seating surfaces. And then your appliques are going to go from a high gloss finish to an open pour. They are that espresso ash swirl finish uh, on the that you're seeing in the same places. So your doors, your instrument panel, uh, the glove box above the glove box, as well as here on the steering wheel. So that's going to be a, a nice finish for you. Also, you can get your jade gray interior. So that's more of a gray that wasn't available in your uh, select trim. And so you're going to see that dark gray on the top part of the dash and the console cover. But you're going to have that light gray seats as well as the lower part. And then your uh, appliques are going to still be an open pour applique, but now it's going to be that jade espresso uh, or that jade ash swirl, I should say, uh, open pour appliques. So I think you'll really like any of those options are going to be great for you. I think you'll find something that'll fit your needs. Your leather seating surface is upgraded to that pre nice premium leather seating surface in this vehicle. Heated and ventilated or heated and cooled seats here for the driver and front passenger. Uh, so I think you'll appreciate that. Also 24 way a power adjustable seat for the driver and front passenger. So that's going to include not only uh, two different ones for your backrest. I love the uh, shoulder blade one. That's going to bring that forward and back. That's probably one of my favorite to get it just right. Also your headrest is going to power up and down forward and back as well. And then you're going to have individual thigh extenders. Uh, they're going to extend those thighs electronically out uh, for the left or the right. Depends on your preference uh, for just the right. Now that's for the driver as well as for the front passenger. They're going to have the thigh extenders as well. And then your power lumbar. And then you're going to have driver memory for three different drivers. Uh, that's going to memorize your seat, your mirrors, and some other features we're going to talk about in just a little bit. And now the back seat back there does seat three. Uh, it does have that armrest that comes out in the middle backrest. We talked about that. And then they have their own climate control back there. So it's a tri-zone system in this vehicle. So they can control their climate back there. And there's plenty of vents for them. Also, you're going to get a 110 outlet as well as two USB ports to power those different devices uh, back there in the back of the vehicle. Here on the door, you're going to see your power uh, seat features, which we already talked about, and you got a glimpse of that there on the door, uh, where Continental's brought it from the, the past uh, to the future here, uh, right there on the door. Also, power windows, locks, mirror switches, including auto one-touch for those front windows. And then you can see that e-latch button is right there uh, by where your hand would go on that armrest there. Also, you're going to have your power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Electronically, that steering wheel will go up and down forward and back, and that's going to be included within your driver memory features. Uh, so it's going to memorize the seat, the steering wheel, and the mirror. And what's great about that is it works really nicely with the easy entry and exit seat. And what that means is when you turn the vehicle off, it's going to move, move the steering wheel up and the seat back, making it a little bit easier to get out of the vehicle and back in the vehicle. And then when you start that button or hit the push button start to start it, it's going to move the steering wheel, the seat, and the mirrors to the position of the last driver. If that's not you, just hit your uh, save button there, and it's going to go ahead and adjust everything on the fly for your settings. So uh, I love how that works uh, real nicely. Also here on the left side of the steering wheel, you're going to have your cruise control. Uh, and on the right side, you're going to see some Bluetooth controls as well as some, uh, some different controls for your navigation as well on the right side over there. And then the buttons right up here on the top above that is where you're going to see the volume control on the left side. And on the right side are the buttons that are going to control your information and those settings that we've kind of looked at and we will look at a little bit more throughout this video right there in the middle of that nice uh, screen there. So uh, real nice. Leather wrap steering wheel as well uh, for you. Uh, and then don't forget about those paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. The climate control. I love how it looks when you ha have the vehicle turned on. Uh, it's nice, clean look. You can't see any of the words or the emblems for the climate control or your radio controls. When you hit that push button start to start it, it's going to use LED backlighting to light up all the words, the emblems, those vibrant colors, your reds, your blues, your whites. Uh, it's real nice. And you don't have to worry about them wearing off over time because those buttons, the words aren't painted onto those buttons so they won't wear out over time. Also uh, the tri-zone system so you have a dual zone auto climate control so the driver and front passenger have two different temperatures up here. 
and for your audio controls, AM, FM player, Sirius XM satellite radio as well as standard equipment, you're going to get that Sync 3 system, that's that third generation voice enhanced recognition system where you control your audio, your climate, your phone, and the navigation is standard equipment on your reserve with the pinch and zoom capabilities. Also comes with a Sirius XM traffic and travel link that you can find those different prices for your gas, uh, detour you around any kind of construction zones and any hold up in traffic that way as well. Uh, a lot of other features within that Sirius XM traffic and travel link. And then your audio, your con controls are also, Revel Audio sound system is gonna be standard equipment on this. Uh, I believe 14 speakers is what's gonna be included within that. So a lot of speakers, just like uh, two or three speakers here on each of the doors, uh, these front doors as well as the back doors have some nice big speakers too so great sound uh, that Revel brings uh, to, to light in here here on the interior that I think you really like uh, with this vehicle and then up here on the mirror you do have auto dimming rear view mirror uh, so on the visor you have garage door openers for three different garage doors on your overhead console you're going to have a little compartment for sunglasses so you can put those up there uh, which are really nice that's something that everybody that trades a vehicle and always forgets the sunglasses because it's up there above them uh, you have that up there as well and then some compartments in here that i want to kind of talk about too uh, this first one we call it the media hub so you just press the chrome button here and it'll open up and give you access to that you're going to have two smart usb ports in here which means that you can plug those smartphones in there you can be able to stream audio through those uh, plugged in cables if you want to uh, you can also use bluetooth to be able to connect your phone and play audio that way if you'd like to and then you do have a PowerPoint in here as well. So if you still have that traditional PowerPoint, you still have, have a way to be able to power those uh, different smartphones there. And a big enough compartment that you can put your cell phone uh, in there uh, pretty easily and leave it down in there. And then you're going to see uh, this little compartment as well. This is your cup holder. So you can just, it's retractable. It slides back. It's a nice look when you don't have any uh, drinks or anything. And then you do have uh, the two cup holders here as well as it has a little compartment. I, I think it's a great place to put a cell phone as well if you'd like to or anything else right there. Uh, treats or whatever that you might have while you're driving right there. And then in these cup holders, you can see it does have ambient lighting. And the ambient lighting is going to light up your cup holders your footwells, the door handles and door compartments, as well as the LED light across the dash. That looks really sharp on the vehicle and you're gonna see the LED lights around this compartment right here. So that also looks real sharp, especially at nighttime when you have those headlights on. Uh, so I think you appreciate that. And then let's talk about the console here. It has two different levers. If you uh, press the lever on the right side, it's gonna uh, give you this tray access. It's a, more of a shallow uh, compartment to put some smaller items in, coins, that kind of thing if you want to. And then if you press the left button, it's going to hold that tray up against the lid. And then you're going to get a bigger compartment down here with a PowerPoint in there. And there's also a little compartment. I think they're thinking you could put the key in there if you wanted to. If you happen to get in it with your in, in your hands, you can put it there instead of having to try to put it back into your pocket. Uh, and it's going to be able to be put in there. Also, if you wanted to, you can leave it inside. You know you can use a keypad to get in and out, locking and unlocking it, and leaving the key inside. Not always the safest thing, especially if the battery dies, uh, but uh, that is something that is available for you if you'd like to. I do that all the time with my vehicle. So some great equipment. Uh, also, don't forget, it does have carpeted floor mats for the footwells in the front, as well as the footwells in the back uh, that you're going to have, the embroidered uh, floor mats there too. Oh, and I also forgot, because uh, you don't see this on very many vehicles, but uh, standard equipment on your reserve is the power sunshade. That's going to come up from the back and it's going to put that sunshade on that back glass so that way you can protect you from that sun coming in from the back of the vehicle especially for those sitting in the back seat uh, where it might get a little warm on them on the back of their, their neck and such that that can come in real handy for you and that's going to be standard equipment on all your reserves as well so again everything we've talked about so far is standard equipment on every reserve for the in, for the uh, 2018 lincoln continental Anyway, before we move on to the different packages and optional equipment, I did want to remember one other standard equipment that is a very big deal, uh, and I'm surprised I, I almost forgot it, and that is called the Lincoln Connect. And the Lincoln Connect is a great way to, for you to stay connected to your vehicle using the Lincoln Way app. And that is a, an app that, in fact, Lincoln uh, requires us to download for every customer that comes in and purchases a Lincoln vehicle, so that way they can be connected to their vehicle. And there's some great benefits on that app that allows you to be able to remote start your vehicle from anywhere, unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere, uh, and even schedule remote start times. Uh, if you want to remote start it every morning at a certain time, you can schedule that through that app as well. 
and then it remote starts your vehicle. So that comes in real handy. It goes a lot further than what your remote will. So if you're maybe in an office building, uh, you're getting ready to leave for the day and it's really cold outside, you can go ahead and pull up that app. You can remote start your vehicle. Uh, and then that way it's still warmed up and ready to go for you when you get out of the work uh, right there. Or airports, I know a lot of people will do that as well. So uh, some great benefits there. You also are able to uh, be able to find your vehicle in those busy parking lots. Uh, so if you forgot where you parked your vehicle at the game, uh, you can always uh, get, pull your app out and help you locate your vehicle as well. And then it allows you to stay connected to your maintenance of your vehicle as well, because you're going to get that in, those alerts from Lincoln when there's any recalls that, are, that need to be done. Uh, if your vehicle is getting a certain uh, place uh, for your mileage and you need to schedule that service, you can even schedule service through the app and it comes right to our Lincoln concierge at your Lincoln dealership. So uh, that's a great benefit to be able to stay connected. Also comes with Wi-Fi hotspots to up to 10 different devices. Now that one would require you to actually uh, do a little bit of uh, upgrade. You actually have to come up with a plan for that Wi-Fi hotspots. It's I think $20 for unlimited data uh, for all those different devices to connect to the vehicle. Uh, so I think yeah, that's a pretty affordable, especially if you drive a lot, go out of town a lot, and you're going to need to be able to connect your vehicle. Uh, that's a great way. You don't use a lot of your other cellular data that way. And for affordable price, you're able to connect all that you want to right there. So uh, so great feature that I didn't want to forget. Uh, so don't forget about the Lincoln Connect. That actually is standard on every Lincoln vehicle. Now we're going to talk about different optional packages and that includes several features within our package. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about, probably one of the most popular is going to be that Continental Climate Package. Uh, now one, first I want to preference one of the features that with, what's within this package and that's the auto dimming rear view mirror. I said it was standard equipment and that's because this vehicle happens to have the climate package and I saw that on there and so it, I just rattled it right off. Uh, but the auto dimming rear view mirror is part of this package. It is not standard equipment so I want to first mention that. Also within this package you're going to get auto high beams. Now auto high beams are going to be just like your automatic headlights except it's for those high beams. So they're going to come on when it's on a dark street, uh, even in town uh, or on the highway. It's it's going to turn those auto high beams on. If a car approaches you or your, the city lights are enough light, it's going to go ahead and shut those off. So that's a really nice feature to have. Also with your wipers. Rain sensing wipers are going to come on this package. Uh, just like it sounds, if you have one of those intermittent settings, it's going to automatically turn those wipers on. As it rains a little harder, it's going to wipe a little faster. It's going to adjust on the fly for you so you don't have to keep changing that intermittent. So especially that day where the, that rain keeps changing speeds on you, uh, it's a little irritating uh, moving that back and forth to get it just right. Uh, and the rain sensing wipers will take care of all that for you. Also, windshield wiper de-icers. We love this feature here in Kansas because uh, a lot of times during the winter time, it's still raining or it might be snowing or whatever, uh, or that sleet, that kind of weather, uh, the windshield will defrost the windshield. Uh, but then it's still a little bit wet and those wipers get wet and then they freeze up on you. The windshield wiper and the icers will take care of that so that way they're going to still be functional for you and you don't have to try to clean those off every so often uh, so you can use those wipers in those snowy situations. So, Also a couple features on the inside that are going to be uh, part of this package and one of those is the rear heated seats. Uh, those two outbound seats are going to get those uh, heated seats back there and you're going to see those controls along with the climate. Uh, you probably saw that in a clip earlier uh, in the video with those uh, heated seat buttons there. And then you're going to get heated steering wheel. A uh, nice uh, feature to have in the winter time that just warms that steering wheel up for you. And it's also a feature that's a part of uh, your remote start setting. So a remote start, it'll heat the steering wheel as well as your seats up uh, if you have it in that auto setting uh, in the winter time. So that's going to be a nice feature as well. Now I want to preface a couple things. The windshield wiper de-icers as well as the auto high beams are two features that can be turned on and off through your settings screen. Uh, so if that's something that you want to go ahead and deactivate, you don't want those features on or you want to make sure they're on, make sure you go in there. If you don't see them working, uh, they're going to be in their settings screen. Just check that box and it's going to be going. Also the remote, uh, the heated steering wheel as part of your remote start settings are in that uh, same setting screen as well. So a lot of features are within that, that settings to help you activate some of these nice features. So again, climate package, probably one of the most popular packages on the Continental. Now let's talk about the Continental Luxury Package. Now this package includes uh, three features within this package. The first one is going to be your LED headlights. So it's going to upgrade these HID headlights here to an LED. They are going to be adaptive as well. And then uh, just a real nice uh, light, uh, you know, the LEDs are so much brighter. Five big LED lights here on the front. Just looks real sharp as well. Even when you have those headlights off, it's a nice look to the headlights up there. 
Also, you're gonna get the Revel Ultima audio sound system. It gets you 19 speakers. Uh, upgrades it from the 13, which is standard, not 14, as I mentioned earlier. So upgrades it from 13 to 19 speakers. Uh, real nice uh, sound for you. And again, Revel is one of the foremost when it comes to audio sound. Uh, and that you're really gonna feel like you have that surround sound all the way around you with some great audio in there. You're also gonna get the single CD player. Uh, I did not mention that as a standard equipment as uh, you can't get a CD player. It is a standalone option that's available. It is also part of this package and it's going to be located in that media hub. So you just open it up. It's going to be right above those USB ports and tucked under there. And that's where you're going to put that single CD in there if you want to get this package. So again, this is going to be available for you uh, as optional equipment. The next package we're going to talk about is that Continental Technology Package. Now this is a great package. This package is also available in your select trim. So since I've done a video on the select trim already, I'm going to go ahead and use that clip that goes over all the features that are included within that package. So go ahead and take a look at this. Let's talk about another package that's optional equipment on your select trim, and that is the technology package. Now, there are six features in this package that are only available as part of this package together. So keep that in mind. Again, look at the, the price down below as well as down in the description. Uh, so this is a real nice package uh, that's in, a lot of safety features included in, with this package. Now, there are, th there are three features that are a part of this package that we talked about earlier in the climate package. And one of those is the windshield wiper de-icers, the rain sensing wipers, and the auto dimming driver side view mirror. So those three features are part of that previous package I just talked about and that are part of this package. And six other features that have not been talked about yet and one of those is going to be your lane keeping system. Now it's not just an alert system but it is a lane keeping system so it will help keep you in your lane. And so you want to make sure you use your turn signals or it will want to keep you um, bounce you back into that lane. So a real nice system. I've used it myself. It works really great there. Also it has your adaptive cruise control. That's going to come in handy on the highway so you have that crew set, you have the gap and exactly how far you want to you want to stop behind the person. As you approach them, it's going to slow you down to go their speed until they speed back up or you pass them and it's free to, to speed up and then it's going to go ahead and, and adjust that. What's great about that is you don't have to use your brakes near so much uh, when you're using that system. Also, pre-collision assist with pedestrian detection. So what's great about this, it has the forward collision warning, it has the, the emergency braking, uh, the adaptive braking, so that's a really nice system. So if you have your uh, foot pressed on the gas and the person in front of you is stopped or going much slower than you, it's going to uh, alert you with a series of tones and lights on your dash that the person in front of you is, is stopped and that you need to stop and even engage the braking. And it's going to include not just vehicles but also pedestrians with this system. So that's a real nice system that you get with this. Also, you're going to get your Active Park Assist. So it's a, the, this is a great system. I do have a video under the Enhanced Active Park Assist which includes three features. Uh, this and the first feature that's on that, you can watch that video and know exactly what this feature includes. It's that parallel parking. So that way it's going to control all the steering and you control the gas and the brake and even helps you find those uh, parking spots. So that's a real nice system that's part of this, uh, this package as well. And the 360 degree camera is also part of this package. Uh, what's really great about that is you're going to have a camera that's going to uh, be underneath that, the front lens up there, the front logo, also underneath the mirrors on each of the mirrors and then on the back one. So you're going to be able to see completely around the vehicle in a split screen view. And then when you hit that uh, camera button again, it's going to give you the full view of the front or the back camera, depends on which uh, gear you're in there. So that's a real nice uh, feature that's part of this package. And the heads up display. And I love this. Uh, the first time we've actually been able to see this in one of the vehicles that have come to the dealership here. I've seen it on videos. This is a great system. That heads up display, what's great about that is it shows you your, uh, all the things that you need to, all the information, miles per gallon, everything, even your navigation, uh, the turn by turn directions will be on that heads up display as well. And it's adjustable. So you can move that heads up display up and down, left and right. So you can adjust that uh, just to the right place that you want it. And what's great about it is, it doesn't look like it's on the windshield. It actually looks like it's at the end of the hood down here uh, and it's not really in the way. So I really love the heads up display. Uh, that's also part of this package. The next package I want to talk about is that Continental rear seat package. Uh, now I don't currently have a vehicle with the rear seat package in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a clip that I did with the, on a black label vehicle since this is only available in the reserve and black label uh, that I did previously a couple months ago that has this package on it. So let's go ahead and play that clip so you have a good idea of the different equipment that's included within this package. Now let's talk about the rear seat package. The rear seat package is really a, a main to because Lincoln feels like every seat should 
be the best seat in, that, in the vehicle. And so I think you're going to see that with this package. So the, those in the back are going to get almost all the same features that they're going to have there in the front seats. So I think you really appreciate sitting back here. And they do have, you notice the perforations in the seats because this does get heated and cooled seats here for these outside seats. And you can see this nice uh, console that sits here for this armrest where you control all those seat features. So your heated, cooled seats, also your climate in here. So you do have uh, separate registers here or vents in the pillars uh, for those. Uh, that's a nice feature to have. So that adds that so you have your own climate and you can feel cool and stay cooled off. Uh, so you're going you're gonna to have those capabilities. Also the power features for your seat. So now you have this uh, power backrest and power recline here for this seat. Also a manual uh, headrest so you can adjust it over here on the side and it moves that seat, that headrest uh, forward and back. Uh, so I think you'll like that. And I think it even goes, uh, it has a button over here so it can go up and down as well uh, that you can, uh, you can make that headrest go up and down. And now also in these seats, they get rear inflatable seat belts. Uh, so that is a seat, the, the airbag for those seat belts. So if you're for a collision, it's going to inflate those and protect you that way. Uh, so that's also been uh, added to this uh, package. And then uh, you also get some uh, nice features uh, with the massaging seat. Uh, so now you have the lumbar. You can press these buttons over here on the door. And it's going to be able to adjust the three different lumbars. So you have three different positions in that backrest. Also, it has the massaging seat feature now. So not only the seat cushion, the seat back is going to massage for you. And you can adjust that for the left and the right seat right there uh, on this display and, and with these controls right here. So a great flexibility on this. Uh, now if you're a little bit warm, you have the climate going. You can also uh, has the manual side window sunshades here, as well as the power one in the back. So you just press the button there, and it's going to bring that one up in the back. They can control that up there. There's no one sitting back here as well, uh, but you're able to control it right there. Now, if you this does have your panoramic vista roof with the uh, power sunshade, they can control it back here as well. So you just press the button, and it's going to open that up if they want to see that night sky. They're able to do that from back here and have that flexibility as well there. So. Um, like I said, great features in this. Uh, and even though those, the person on the right side over there is going to have even more flexibility and more leg room because they have the ability to be able to use the, the power buttons for the seat cushion, move that seat up out of their way, as well as the seat back. So if that person in the front, if there's no one sitting there, they can go ahead and move them out of position. That was really designed for those that want to be chauffeured around. So they're going to have someone drive them. They can sit in that seat over there and have all the leg room that they want being able to control that seat and move that seat forward and back as well. So uh, again, rear seat package is great. I think you're really going to like it. Definitely want to check it out when you get a chance. So let's talk about optional equipment. Uh, a lot of the, these are all standalone options that are available and doesn't require you to get other things to get these uh, different things uh, other than like think one option that we're going to talk about towards the end. Now first let's talk about some of the options that are available in some of the different packages as standalone options. And one of those is your single CD player. Part of that luxury package but you can get a single CD player as a standalone option and it's going to be in that media hub tucked up underneath there like we talked about earlier. Uh, that's where it's going to a single CD player that's available as optional equipment with your audio system. Also, uh, some features that are part of that rear seat package, let's talk about those. And one of those is those uh, rear inflatable seat belts. Those two outbound seats are going to get those inflatable seat belts. And they're really to protect those kids that are in the back from those side and front collisions. Uh, so that's uh, available as a standalone option. Also, the twin panel moonroof is part of this, that rear seat package. Uh, is going to be that power moonroof, uh, the dual glass up here. Just looks real sharp. You can open that up, even open up the, uh, the, fr the front glass as well. Uh, so that twin panel moonroof is a standalone option as well. And then the other package that we talked about is part of that rear seat package it requires you to get and that's the uh, perfect position seats with the active motion. And what that means it's the massaging seat feature. So it's going to have the 22 way power seat that it already has but it's going to add the lumbar for the back as well as the seat cushion uh, to be able to give you the massaging seat feature for those in the front seat, the front driver and front passenger. And that's why you're required to have that to get the rear seat package because they're going to get those massaging seat features as well there in the back. So again, some great features uh, throughout there that are available in different packages as uh, standalone options. Also a different wheel that's available. You can get a 20 inch premium painted aluminum wheel. In fact, it's this wheel here with the dark tarnished painted pocket. So again, real sharp looking wheel there uh, that's available as a standalone option. Also a, uh, a summer tire that's available. Uh, it's only available in that 20 inch size. So you will require you to have these wheels. Uh, also does require you to have the 3.0 turbocharged engine and it requires you to have the technology package. 
that's what the order guide's telling us. So that, that summer tire is available. And again, that's a tire you can put on uh, for the summertime. It's recommended you keep the other tire for the wintertime uh, as well, just as it's just a summer only tire. So that's, if you're in a state, maybe you're in a state like California or something where you don't get winter weather, that'd be a great tire for you to put on there. And it'd probably save you a little bit on fuel economy as well. And then also you can get some accessories for your vehicle. One of those is going to be your all-weather floor mats. Uh, and those are going to be uh, going the footwells there in the foot in the front seats, as well as the footwells there on the back seat, those two outside seats. Uh, and that really protects that the uh, flooring, especially if you live in a state where you get a lot of winter, uh, weather, snow, uh, rain, that kind of thing. These would be great for you to add to your vehicle. And then you can also get a cargo area protector, which is going to be an all-weather mat for your trunk. So you can put it in there and that's a big one that's going to go back there to fill that up and again keep you from getting any stains or anything on the carpet back in the trunk area as well. So again, those are all the stand standalone options that are available on your Continentals for 2018. So that's all your standard, optional packages and standalone options for your reserve trim of the 2018 Lincoln Continental. Let's talk about warranties real quick. Uh, all your Lincoln vehicles come with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty with a six year, 70,000 mile powertrain warranty. So great warranties. Lincoln feels like you're buying a luxury vehicle. You deserve some luxury warranties and luxury service. That's why they provide pickup and delivery for four years, 50,000 miles as well. And let me tell you what pickup and redelivery is. Pickup and delivery means that they're gonna pick your vehicle up for service at your house, work, wherever it might be, leave your Lincoln loaner for the day, they'll service your vehicle, they'll clean it up as well, and they'll bring it back to you. So you don't have to stop what you're doing on your normal day. You can just schedule that through the app, or you can call the deal local uh, Lincoln dealership, say, I'd like my vehicle pick up for an oil change. They'll come, what the address do you need to pick you up at? We'll pick you up, they'll drop you off a vehicle, pick yours up, you can go about your day like normal, and then they'll schedule for, to drop it off as well. So great service. If you don't live within 30 miles, because that is within 30 miles, you can bring your vehicle into the Lincoln dealership, as well as maybe you don't want it, them to pick up your vehicle, and that's fine. You can still get the same benefits of a Lincoln loaner and a Lincoln Clean as well. So what they're gonna do is if you maybe drop it off before work, you can drop it off, we'll give you a Lincoln vehicle to drive, go on to work, at the end of the day, come back, pick your Lincoln vehicle up, and it's gonna be clean, ready to go for you. So that's some great services that I think you really will like uh, as part of all your Lincoln vehicles. Uh, so that's, that's some great luxury service right there. Now check out our Lincoln website, lawmacarthurlincoln.com. They're in each one of our vehicles. You can check for availability, schedule a test drive. You can see pictures as well as now you can see a 360 degree walk around around the vehicle. We call it the walk around. It is like a VR experience where you can see all the way around the vehicle inside and out uh, within that frame. So that's real nice. Uh, uh, you can even uh, go up and down, see the roof, the side, the doors uh, with that camera. So I think you're gonna really love uh, how that works uh, on there on our website. Uh, all of our Lincoln vehicles will be on there, especially our Continental, so do check that out. We have a low internet price in all of our vehicles. Uh, so I think you really make it a lot easier and a, a great, not only is a luxury uh, ownership, but luxury buying experience as well if you just check out our website there. Uh, we do have coordinators ready to help you out, so you can call or send us a text message at 785-378-5031. We also have a toll-free landline if you like, 1-800-874-6316. Uh, and we do also have 24-7 chat service uh, as well on our website. So we have our coordinators that, that handle that during business hours and outside of business hours. We have other people that can help answer a lot of your questions on that are trained staff as well. Uh, there to help you out. So anyway, some great ways to really help you out in your, uh, your search for a vehicle as well as the purchase of your vehicle. So I think you really appreciate that. So check that out. Uh, if you have any questions, don't forget you can call us, uh, send us a text message, whatever works for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's very thorough, uh, but I hope you got a lot of information from this video. If you have any questions, just reach out to us. We're here to help you out. So uh, again, thank you for watching this 2018 Lincoln Continental Reserve video. If you happen to be watching this video on YouTube, I have a special offer just for you, and that's free shipping. Uh, you know, if you're watching this video and you feel like, hey, I'd like to buy a vehicle from that dealership, but they're so far away from, uh, from us, we'll just go to a local dealership. Uh, you can still get a great internet price, work with a dealership like this that's very knowledgeable on their Lincoln product, uh, and get free shipping as well, shipped right to you. The only thing we ask is you finance uh, through one of our lenders. And on a lot of our new Lincoln vehicles, that's gonna be Lincoln Automotive Financial Services. And a lot of times, they have 0%. So why not save some of your money, even if you're gonna pay cash for the vehicle, 
finance a vehicle, get it from a dealership that you trust that's very knowledgeable, just like these videos here, uh, and help you out and get your free shipping right to your door. So uh, make it smooth, easy, uh, and uh, just a great experience for you again, giving you that luxury service that you really expect. So reach out to us. You can call or send us a text message at 785-378-5031. Again, 800- 8746316. So uh, also if you have any questions at all, uh, put them down in the comments. I read all the questions, all the comments, and I respond to any questions that there might be on there. So I love getting that feedback. I love answering any questions that you might have. That's what I'm here for is to help you uh, figure out exactly what you're looking for in a vehicle, even if you don't purchase it from us. Uh, that's that's kind of what I'm here for and uh, something that, that we are, are really good at uh, here at Lincoln, Long MacArthur Lincoln is the, the product knowledge that we have on our Lincoln vehicles and we'd like to just give that out to our, to the community and uh, uh, there's nothing we need to hide there we want you to be as knowledgeable because it is a big purchase for you we want to make sure you have a, you do a, make a great decision as well so again reach out to us if you have any questions also for the first time you're watching one of our videos don't forget to hit that red subscribe button that way you can get subscribed to our channel and get other content like this on other Lincoln and Ford products uh, that I think you'll find very valuable and while you're at it go ahead and hit that notification bell what that does is it lets you get notified every time we have a new video uploaded on our YouTube channel. And a lot of times we upload about five to seven a week, uh, more on the five. Uh, I don't usually post one on Sundays. Uh, so that's kind of what you expect, no more than one a day. Uh, and I think you'll really appreciate some of the content we have. So I definitely do that for you. And join the YouTube community here for Law MacArthur, uh, Ford and Lincoln. I think you're really gonna like it. Again, if you have any questions, reach out to us. That's what we're here for. And I hope you really enjoyed this video on this 2018 Lincoln Continental.